many of these bands have had to fight to raise money to get here, and they couldn't do it without the support of their communities. I have to think that as excited as they are, I was watching some of the girls go by, some of the majorettes, as we listen to one of the bands starting right now, and it, they were, they had their game face on, they were waving, they were smiling, they were dancing, but they were shivering, well, they are cold, uh, but of course, Maybe part of it could be nerves because they're getting right up there by uh, where you are and where the president's going to be watching them here any moment. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it's nice to see how much of the crowd uh, has stuck around to see all of these bands and these dance troops perform. Because you know that uh, some, of these, uh, some of these bands are from rural areas that don't always have a lot of money to support something like this. We know that there were so many entries. A double, I think I heard from what uh, was submitted in the last inauguration, uh, folks that wanted to be part of the parade. So uh, it is a fight to get here, obviously, and the crowds are, are staying here and they're cheering them on and they're watching them and waiting for them. And uh, I know that we've been talking about the animals. All I've seen so far are horses. We know that there are 200 animals in this parade. Well, did I miss something? Did you see another kind of animal? So far. I think I've only seen horses so far, but maybe there are some other animals. We'll have so to wait to see. Mule. Yeah, maybe a mule. All right, guys, hold on for a second. The Jackson Memorial High School band from Jackson, New Jersey, will take a break as we go to break and continue our special situation room. Let's listen in for a second.